Hello, my fellow X toolers and diode laser enthusiasts. My name is Keith, and this is Sunglow Laser Creations. So it's been a couple of weeks now since my X tool user story uh, debuted, and I, I was so happy with the comments that I received that I wanted to go ahead and make um, another little short video for you guys. Um, today, I want to show you my little tip, my little trick on how I square up my uh, laser cutting grid to the X tool. So come on, I'll show you. Okay, let's talk about one, two, three blocks or machinist blocks as they're called. Um, this is what I use to quickly and accurately square up the laser grid to the X tool. Um, you might be wondering why they call them one, two, three blocks and maybe you're not. I don't know. But anyways, basically it's going to be, you know, one inch thick, two inches wide, three inches long. The great thing about these, and especially for our particular use today, is that these are precision made, so they're true and flat, which really works out well for what we're trying to do, considering we're trying to square up our laser cutting grid to the X tool itself. So having something that's really precise to begin with is going to go a long ways in making sure that we're squared up with the X tool. So how do we do this? Let's take a look and see how that's done. So as we can see here, this is definitely not squared up by any means. And even though I have the waste board down here with uh, some grid lines on it and stuff, and they're really kind of faint. And even if they were in there really uh, dark, I mean, still trying to take like the edge of the uh, laser cutting grid here and trying to line it up with that edge and moving it around would just seem, you know, kind of a pain in the butt. And it's really not going to be that accurate. So, I mean, a real easy way to do it is by using the one, two, three blocks and what you're going to do is go ahead and grab a couple of them. <clears throat> you're going to first set off by kind of going to the center of the uh, machine on the one rail and get this flat up against the inside rail and make sure it's flat against your, your bottom surface as well. <clears throat> Take a second one, line that up, make sure that's flat with the surface and up against the first block. And then you can go ahead for your first operation. We're going to go ahead and push that over there. So push up against it. Make sure it's flat right up against the one, two, three block. Then from there, you're going to take another one and you're going to do the same thing, but now you're going to do it on the front of the machine, on the inside of the front machine here. And you're going to put that right up against the rail. And you can go ahead now and slide this down. Again, you want to make sure that it's flat up against the block in the back and flat up against these blocks here as well. So you might want to go ahead and hold it a little bit here, hold a little bit here, give it even uh, pressure. And now that is squared up. Once that's in place, you know, you can go ahead and hold this down firmly, lift both of them out at the same time. They're not too heavy get those out of the way. I usually leave the other one in here. It's not a problem because it's never going to be in the way of the laser head whatsoever. So that's what I do. And now uh, with the offset that I use, <clears throat> it gives me, it, it, it's almost puts my laser grid perfectly centered this way. It's maybe off by about five millimeters, but it's really close and it allows me to um, get my piece of uh, my wood that I use in here. I usually, uh, what am I using? 19 by 20 piece that I can set in here and it's right in the center for the most part. And yeah, it works out really great. So I hope this little tip helped you guys. Well, thanks for watching the video. I hope that you found the content useful. If you like what you saw, please give me a like and please subscribe and share. And until the next time, laser on.